Hi, I'm Tom from Source Fabric, and today I'm going to show you how to create a scorecard in LiveBlog. We're just 20 minutes into this match between Brazil and Switzerland, and Brazil have just scored. To create a scorecard, I can go to Choose Post Type and select the Scorecard option. Here there's a quick form for me to fill out, and I'll put a 1 over here and a 0 over here. I'll also assign Brazil as the home team and Switzerland as the away side, and they have a basic scorecard. I'll go ahead and publish this scorecard and we'll have a look at what it looks like for our readers. We can make this scorecard stand out a little more. I'm going to now add a background image to it. Here's the image I'd like to use. I'm just going to drag and drop this image into the section for background images and it's uploaded. Now I'm going to add an image to represent each team. Here are the images and it's simply a case of dragging and dropping each into the appropriate boxes in my live blog session. Of course, visual elements aren't the only thing we can add to our scorecard. We can also add extra information on who scored the goal. Coutinho scored that goal in the 20th minute for Brazil, so that information belongs in the Home Scorers section. Now before I click Update, I'm just going to make sure that the Remember Last Scorecard option has been ticked. This will help me when I want to create a new scorecard for when another goal is scored later in the match. We'll return to this feature later on in the video. Let's update the scorecard and see what it looks like. Here it is in the back end, and now from the front end of LiveBlog. To avoid readers having to scroll through the LiveBlog, trying to find the up-to-date score, let's pin the scorecard right to the top of LiveBlog's timeline. This is done by clicking the little pin button here. Now, even when I publish new updates, the scorecard will still be the first thing the reader sees. The ball has found the back of the net again, Switzerland have just equalised and will need to post a new scorecard. So again, I'll just go to Choose Post Type and select the Scorecard feature. Having clicked the Remember Last Scorecard option when I first created the scorecard, all of my previous information that I filled out before will be there for me already, saving me valuable time during the match. Now I can just update the score in the appropriate fields. Alternatively, we can upload our pin scorecard rather than creating a new one. Just go to the scorecard that's already pinned to the top of LiveBlog's timeline and hit the edit button. That lets me update my already existing scorecard with all the information already filled in, again another way of saving time during the match. I can also add in half-time results and any extra match information here. So that was how to create, update and manage your scorecard in less than three minutes. I've been Tom from Source Fabric. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep live blogging.